So, yesterday I posted a video about how I make money. And the reason I posted that video was because I, I've been getting so many comments of, you know, how, how do you afford to do this? You know, where do you work? How do you earn money? This and that. And the, the purpose of the video was to simply state how I earn money. You know, it wasn't to say that this is what you should do. It wasn't to say that this is the only thing that you can do. It was simply just to state how I earn money. If you want to work a job for someone else, do that. You know, if you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, you have to do what you want to do, okay? You know, I'm not saying that you have to not work a nine to five job. I'm not saying that you have to have your own business. You have to be an entrepreneur. I'm just stating how I earn money, you know? And when it comes down to it, you know, I think people overestimate the price of things and you know my cost of living you know my cost of living is not going to be the same as your cost of living you know for example you know if you have a if you have a house you have a mortgage you have you know a whole family you have to pay for all that first and you know earning my income is not going to be enough for you it's simply not but you know don't overestimate you know how much money I'm actually spending each month you know for example, let me just give you a quick example here. When I went to Iceland, you know, I stayed in, we stayed in the hotel for five, uh, five nights, me and my girlfriend. Now, a few of you are probably thinking, well, that must have cost a few hundred pound each. Do you know how much it costs for five nights in the hotel? 65 pound each. 65 pound. We're not talking hundreds, you know, 65 pound each. And I think the flight was 150. So that's 200 pound for five nights, flight and hotel in Iceland. And if you take into consideration the car as well, that I think that was an extra 60 pound each. So you're looking at 260 pound for five nights, a flight, return, return flight, return flight, five nights in hotel, and a hire car for five nights and six days, 260 pound. So, you know, we're not talking crazy figures here. We're not talking, you know, oh, that, you know, that's gonna to have to take months to save or anything like that. No, it's really not. And you know, when we went to Venice, how much was, when we went to Venice, I'm, I'm, I mean, I booked Venice like, I'm pretty sure we booked Venice about August of last year. So this wasn't a recent thing. And that was when I was working, uh, you know, I was doing labor work and things. So I had a lot more income then. But I think the hotel there was about, I believe it was about £100 each, maybe, at the most, for like seven nights. And um, the flight was about 100 or 150 So there again, you know, that's a whole week. You're looking at like £250. Not a whole lot of money. Um, and, you know, to come to America, people massively overestimate. When I went to, when me and James came to LA last year, we came for 10 nights. And I asked anyone else if they wanted to come. I said, basically, this is the situation. You know, hotel, 10 nights, you get your own double bed, there's a pool, everything there, breakfast included. So return flight, that hotel, um, you know, visa, uh, insurance, everything paid for. And I think it was like 790 pound. Um, now that wasn't bad, but my girlfriend, she's coming in the middle of May so, you know, we're talking about, you know, springtime here. Um, and she got a return flight for £430. And that's including, you know, her case, her um, meals and everything on board. Um, and a hotel, which we pay half each on. Uh, and then her return train ticket to from Coventry to the airport. Um, and then we're looking at... Um, the insurance, the travel insurance, and the visa as well. All those things total, I think it cost her £660. So, there's quite, there's quite a little bit, but you know, it's not anywhere near the amount that I've been hearing people spend, you know, on a trip to America. You know, people, people expected it to be like thousands, and it's really not the case, you know. 
and you don't need a whole lot of spending money. Yeah, fair enough. If you want to go out, you want to, you know, spend a hundred pound on a meal and then you want to go for cocktails and things like that. But that's really not how I travel. I, you know, I would rather go to more places and spend less money than to go to like one place and then just spend loads of money on alcohol and nice food. And that's why, you know, when we went to Iceland, we just ate, ate things like KFC. When we went to Venice, we just ate things like Burger King because we didn't want to blow a whole load of money that we don't really have. You know, so this is, this is how I can do it, okay? You know, I earn enough, whether that be 400 pounds or whether that be 800 pounds in a month. I'm just being totally transparent with you guys now. You know, I can live my life, I can do what I want with the income that I earn at the moment. And that is, the thing is, with an income like this, with your own business and with an online things, you know, it slowly increases over time. So when it does increase, you know, I'll be able to do even more things, you know, and obviously we'll be looking more into the gym and things like that. But, you know, it's frustrating when people don't understand. I live my lifestyle, I earn my income, it's enough for me, it may not be enough for you, okay? I just wanted to get that out there. Don't expect to be able to live your lifestyle earning my income, okay? Everyone is different, that's it.